uh, Raleigh. Raleigh, I'm Jerry. So give us a, your opinion about Alita. Alita is a, it's a pretty solid movie. Like I saw it in IMAX and IMAX 3D at that. So I felt like I was in the movie. And uh, it really like... You thought it was worth so it? Did you watch, did you read the manga of the series? No, I just heard recently that it was the manga. So okay. it made me want to go find it. After watching this movie, are you thinking of reconsidering about reading the mangas of the movie? Yeah, for sure. Okay, definitely. What would you rate it from 0 to 10? I give it an 8. An 8? An eight. All right, so man. it changed your opinion on like live action anime movies because you know how they usually are. Oh uh, yeah, like, it gives me hope. It gives like, you hope? You know it's CGI, but the CGI was pretty like real life, so yeah. I look forward to the new movies. Yeah, hey, 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 there's no music playing. Oh. What's, What's up, up, guys? <laughs> it's Elon France. I'm with my boy Jerry, and we just saw the movie Alita Battle Angel. And it's a movie based off of a manga with the same title. And you know how those usually go. Mm -hmm. They don't, aren't really they aren't really good, are they? Hell no. They are really good. Nah. But uh, this movie follows Alita. She's an android, a teenage android. Cyborg? Yes, cyborg. Cyborg. That's in a world that she doesn't belong out of place. And she's trying to find her way is pretty much what the story is. And I want to give my opinion about this movie go first right because ahead, I have a lot man. to say. Go, go right All right? right. Go right For one, when it comes to live action anime movies, they're trash, okay? Like, Death Note, it was pretty good. I didn't like it, but I know some people liked it. The Dragon Ball live action, we won't even talk about that. I'm sorry for even mentioning that. I'm sorry. But like, this movie right here, I think it's the second best live action anime movie, uh, manga movie. Because Edge of Tomorrow, a lot of people, you know with Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt? Yeah. A lot of people don't actually know that's based off of a manga. Oh, really? That's based off of a manga. Well, I just knew that too. What's yeah, so like, okay. I'm glad, I, I appreciate what the studio did with uh, this movie is where, you know where a lot of times they, if they want to make some live action, they're like, let's get Dragon Ball, let's get Naruto, let's get something big. Yeah. I don't think that's the right way to do it because a lot of people are attached to that really. But like Alita, did you really know what? Did you even know what Alita was before yeah, they announced this movie? Literally no. I don't know what Alita no. is like. I don't even know when it really came out. Like it could have came out in the '90s or '80s for all we know. Oh, we yeah, really don't exactly. know nothing. We just know right. it's based off of a manga. And the only reason we really know it's based off of a manga is because her eyes. Yeah, exactly. Because, her, that's that's what was the selling point of this movie. People saw her eyes. They're like, why are her what? eyes like that? Yeah, it's super weird. So they're like, is this based off of a manga or something? Oh. The action in this movie. Tell you that right now. The action. If you like action, hey, hey. baby, I mean, I, ooh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love. If you like it, endless action, it. this is a good movie with some amazing action. Like yeah, I a lot really, of feminism too. I really commend the action in this movie. The CGI. There's some. It's, the CGI is hit or miss. Like it's very beautiful CGI, but sometimes you can tell Alita. Yeah. Like sometimes Alita looks like she's straight. Uh, like real, yeah, and then sometimes, like sometimes she stick out like, like a sore thumb. Yeah. yeah, sometimes she st sticks out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We saw it in IMAX 3D, so we don't know if that like really pointed out that she was CGI at some point. She like, ah, uh, you know, you like you could look at her like I know she's not really there right now, and then other times you're like, whoa, she's really here right now. But with all the CGI they had in this movie, I kind of understand why sometimes the CGI wouldn't be the best and everything. So I wouldn't really cut the movie down because of the CGI. Overall, the CGI was really good. And like, well, if, if you think about it very well, I mean, like, uh, like we just saw right now, the SFX and all the production came out from other movies like Avatar, you know. Yeah, so I. Understand. But you know, they got. I mean, that's yeah. why it's a really yeah. good quality movie. Yeah, just, it's like just a couple times when the CGI is bad. Like, you can't yeah. not, you can't call a movie bad because CGI. Black Panther CGI was horrible, yeah. oh, but it was exactly. an amazing but, movie. Oh, in general, it was yeah. really amazing. You know, Oscar awards, everything. <laughs> Like I said before, I really did enjoy this movie. I thought it was way better. I was expecting to walk in this movie, coming out like, oh, this movie is straight garbage. But no, this movie is really good. I really recommend anyone that likes anime. And I'll tell you this right now. If you read Alita, 
I can't vouch for you because I don't know how close to stay to the me source neither. material. Me this me could me be sorry, nothing me. at all me to me what are ignorant just what we saw in the movie, that's all we know. So we don't know, but I'm glad they took a small property and they decided to adapt that so they won't have that many fans mad because if you adapt Dragon Ball Z, oh, doesn't matter if yeah. it's good or not, you still gonna have people mad. So they got something that no, not many people knew and it's like, all right, let's throw it out there and a couple of leader fans be mad, but we don't care. And it's gonna be good. They made a good movie. The yeah, acting, was, the was acting was really good. I really like all the acting in the movie. Mm -hmm. Alita, she was my favorite part of the movie. She really stuck out. Like she was really emotional. You really felt for that girl. He's like, Man. yeah. For a minute, I considered if I had something emotional for robots. But I'm okay now. Okay. And like, <laughs> and the world. I'll let you talk in a second. But the world kind of reminds me of the Netflix uh, series. Alternate carbon, if you ever watched that, it, oh, yeah, yeah, like it kind of yeah, reminded okay, me yeah, of that. I, I, um, yeah, you're and right, you're right. this movie's gonna be a franchise, how they left it, it's gonna be a franchise. It it's not, it's not a one or uh, one movie and they're done, they're gonna try. And I really don't know how this movie's gonna perform. It could either bomb or it could be really good. There's no in between. I don't think it's gonna make okay money. It's gonna either go I, be really bad I'm with money or really good. Like, I'm confident this movie will make money. I think it's probably gonna make around 500 million. You think that? It's gonna make a lot of money. That's all I know. Like more than an average movie. All right. I don't. I'll, if I got anything else to say, I'll say. It, but I gotta let him talk too now. Action, romance, drama, suspense, fighting, one movie together. One movie. All of it together. Like, per, why did they make it Valentine's Day? It makes sense. You got action and you got romance. You stick it together. This is the best thing I can ever see. Like you just see fighting, fighting, fighting. But she's fighting for her boyfriend. So like, there's a lot of feminism in there. I would be like, this is incredible. Like if you compare it to a society, you'd be like, this is super awesome, super incredible. So Valentine's Day, watch a leader. I don't think that is my it. suggestion. If you're going for a Valentine's Day, last minute, go watch this Alita movie. I'm telling you, that is perfect for the occasion. You know, um, my opinion over the movie, it's a Valentine's Day movie. It's a Valentine's Day movie, like, why not? Like, this, I feel connected to this movie. I mean, after Avatar, Avatar was very, very good. I didn't like Avatar, but. You didn't like Avatar, no, no. but I, mean, I liked Avatar. Uh, you know, all the haters, bye bye. But anyways, um, I I have that vibe that I mean, I will watch the second movie, and I will consider reading the mangas from here now. I'm not a manga person, but Alina convinced me because this is just my type of movies. Like this is what I can get more connected to. I feel motivational after the movie. I feel like you know everybody has their strengths that and talents that they should use inside of them. That they can perform very well throughout their life scenarios, you know, everyday cases. And it's very motivational. If you're depressed, watch Alita. If you're looking for a date, watch Alita. If you just want some fighting, watch Alita. And so bam! And another thing I really liked about Alita was how this movie was a setup for a franchise, but they did it in a way where this movie still made sense. And I'm like, it was still its own movie, unlike uh the crimes of Grindelwald. Like yes, it was sitting up for course. the next movie. So you're like, what's the point of even watching this? Like you're just sitting up like nothing's really happening in uh, that movie. But like this movie, stuff happening and they're still sitting up. So you're like, okay, I'm hyped for the thing instead of just like exactly. getting you hyped for another movie. But you're like, gotta watch this movie to really get to the next one. Mm -hmm. So I'm really right. glad they did this. Yeah, so I really hope it makes I, money I like because I think they'll improve on the mistakes they made in the fir uh, first time, and then they'll really uh, go big. But I think this is how studio Hollywood studios should go. They should uh, pull like smaller manga out and adapt them. Don't try to adapt the big stuff because too many people mm -hmm. are familiar with that, so too many people got their opinions about it. You got anything else you want to say? I give this movie a thumbs up. I really, not two thumbs up, but I give it a thumbs up. It's the uh, step in the right direction. I really like this. This is the only movie I would not give thumbs up or up or down I'm just going to leave it to you guys to watch it <laughs> till next time and yeah and if you've seen the movie if you want to talk about it go down in the comments down below you can talk don't talk spoilers make it spoiler free I didn't. please give your comments about I what didn't. you think about the movie yes yeah. and drop a like subscribe till next time peace Bye.